Hey y'all, this I'm I'm up here looking at this guy. His name is Joseph Prince. I'm gonna check him out. I put him on my site yesterday, and I made a mistake and said something about the virus in Baltimore City that wasn't completely right. So I had to erase that. But I would like for you to hear a little bit of this guy. So tell me what you think about it. Hey, it's, it's these times, right? Maybe he can give you a little bit of inspiration. Check him out. Joseph Prince. Where we, we are at, I, I'm so glad because uh, the year has been trust on us with this crisis of this virus. But God is always ahead of the devil. In fact, two years ago in... Uh, and one of my messages, I actually, something when I preach is in the spirit of prophecy. I'll prophesy about the future. And you know, this virus thing happened uh, towards the uh, end of uh, last year, which is still 2019. That's why they call it COVID-19. All right. But in, eight, in 2018, I sort of prophesied and I talk about a new strain of virus coming. Sit back, watch. Amen. So obviously God has done something in the spirit world. God has released a healing, anointing, uh, a new strain, if you would of healing they'll perform such things that are uh, uh, such fits that we have never seen before the devil is afraid and he's playing catch up he's trying to create a new strain of virus that, that are like ebola and uh, other kinds of strains of, of, of flu that is virulent against uh, medical treatment and all that but just let you know that we are in the best of generations the rapture can happen anytime we're in a generation that believes that we don't have to depend on the ways of the world we are that generation that delights in God's word. That's why you are here. You are here because you delight in God's word. You delight in God's word. That's why you are here. Amen? Amen? That's why you are here. And that's why we are all here. To hear what God has to say about this. And what's God's answer. So God never plays catch up. The devil plays catch up. So even two years ago, I prophesied, uh, not just here, but in other times as well. Not in just in this sermon, but in other sermons, I preach that there'll be a new strain of virus. And I mentioned a, a flu-like virus which were virulent against, uh, 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 you know, medical science and, and what they can handle in the natural. So something unseen can cause such devastation. During this time, he wants us to look to him. And it's a time where, even as believers, we don't ask ourselves, what do we, re what do we really believe? It's a time where you see there are people who are stayed at home, they'll be so afraid. And it's one thing for you to be smart and to be wise, but it's another thing for you to give in to fear, unnecessary fear. If you know someone is coughing and, and all the time, by the way, someone clears their throat, it's very normal. <laughs> Amen? Even as I say it right now, people feel like clearing their throats right now. Amen? But the thing is this, even if something happens nearby, okay, it's not airborne, it, 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 it's what you do with your hands later on. So don't touch your face. Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh, someone is touching. Okay, almost, almost. Okay. So don't touch your face. And uh, uh, that kind of thing we observe, yes. But you know, something we can do as much as we can, having done all, to stand in that armor of God, the protection of God. Can I have a good amen? amen. The thousand may fall at our side. That's quite, quite close. 10,000, like in China, more than 10,000. At our right hand, that's our neighbor. But it shall not come near us. Amen. We got to believe God. Amen. We can do all we can, but only God can protect us. You know what I'm saying? Be what?